What is a baloperitide injection? And what is a baloperitide injection used for? A baloperitide injection is used to treat osteoporosis, condition in which the bones become thin and weak and break easily, in women who have undergone menopause, change in life, end of menstrual periods, who are at high risk of fractures, broken bones, or who could not be treated successfully with other medications. A baloperitide injection contains a synthetic form of a natural human hormone called parathyroid hormone, PTH. It works by causing the body to build new bone and by increasing bone strength and density, thickness. How to use a baloperitide injection? A baloperitide injection comes as a liquid to inject subcutaneously, under the skin. It is usually given once a day. Use a baloperitide injection at around the same time every day. Follow the directions on your prescription label carefully, and ask your doctor or pharmacist to explain any part you do not understand. Use a baloperitide injection exactly as directed. Do not use more or less of it or use it more often than prescribed by your doctor. You can inject a baloperitide injection yourself or have a friend or relative perform the injections. Before you use a baloperitide injection yourself the first time, carefully read the manufacturer's instructions. Ask your doctor or pharmacist to show you or the person who will be injecting the medication how to inject it. Be sure to ask your pharmacist or doctor if you have any questions about how to inject this medication. A baloperitide injection comes in a pen that contains enough medication for 30 doses. Do not transfer the medication to another syringe. Dispose of your pen 30 days after first opening even if it still contains unused medication. You should inject a baloperitide injection into the lower stomach area. Avoid giving your injection within the 2-inch area around your belly button. Talk to your doctor about how to change your injection site for each injection. Do not give a baloperitide injection into your veins or muscles. Do not inject into areas where the skin is tender, bruised, red, scaly, hard, or where you have scars or stretch marks. Always look at your baloperitide injection before you inject it. It should be clear and colorless. Do not use a baloperitide injection if it has particles in it, or if it is cloudy or colored. Be sure you know what other supplies, such as needles, you will need to inject your medication. Ask your doctor or pharmacist what type of needles you will need to inject your medication. Never reuse needles and never share needles or pens. Always remove the needle right after you inject your dose. Throw away needles in a puncture-resistant container. Ask your doctor or pharmacist how to dispose of the puncture-resistant container. You should know that a baloperitide injection may cause dizziness, lightheadedness, and fainting when you get up too quickly from a lying position as well as a fast or pounding heartbeat and nausea. This usually occurs within 4 hours after receiving your dose and generally goes away within a few hours. You should receive your first several doses of a baloperitide injection where you can sit or lie down right away if necessary. Your doctor may recommend calcium and vitamin D supplements to take during your treatment. A baloperitide injection controls osteoporosis but does not cure it. Continue to use a baloperitide injection even if you feel well. Do not stop using a baloperitide injection without talking to your doctor. When to use a baloperitide injection? Before receiving a baloperitide injection, tell your doctor and pharmacist if you are allergic to a baloperitide, any other medications, or any of the ingredients in a baloperitide injection. Tell your doctor and pharmacist what other prescription and non-prescription medications, vitamins, nutritional supplements, and herbal products you are taking or plan to take. Your doctor may need to change the doses of your medications or monitor you carefully for side effects. Tell your doctor if you have or have ever had any condition that causes you to have too much calcium in the blood, hyperparathyroidism, condition in which the body produces too much parathyroid hormone, natural substance needed to control the amount of calcium in the blood, or kidney stones. 
you should know that a balloperitine injection should only be used by women once they have passed menopause and, therefore, cannot become pregnant or breastfeed. A balloperitide injection should not be used during pregnancy or while breastfeeding. What should I do if I forget a dose? Use the missed dose as soon as you remember it that day. However, if the day has already passed, skip the missed dose and continue your regular dosing schedule. Never inject more than one dose per day. What side effects can a balloperitide injection cause? A balloperitide injection may cause side effects. Tell your doctor if any of these symptoms are severe or do not go away. Dizziness. Sense of spinning. Headache. Tiredness. Upper stomach pain. Redness, pain, or swelling in the area where the medication was injected. Some side effects can be serious. If you experience any of these symptoms, call your doctor immediately. Signs of high blood calcium, nausea, vomiting, constipation, lack of energy, and muscle weakness. Pain in the lower back or lower stomach. Painful urination. Blood in the urine. A balloperitide injection may cause other side effects. Call your doctor if you have any unusual problems while taking this medication. Brand names of a balloperitide injection, Timlos.